YouTube, what is going on? Rich here and welcome back to another episode of Revisiting Legends here on FM Scout. Today we're going to be looking at former England striker Teddy Sheringham. Now Teddy Sheringham had a fantastic career. He was a player that I remember when I was when I was younger watching him and I thought that he was an absolute top player and he's had a very glittering career. He's made 700 and 55 appearances in club football to in total. He's played for teams, started off at Millwall as you can see in the save just here. He then, he's moved on to Nottingham Forest, Tottenham Hotspur, Manchester United, back to Tottenham, then on to Portsmouth, West Ham United, finished his career off as a player more or less at Colchester United. I think he was registered as a player for Stevenage as well a couple of years ago but he didn't make an appearance for them. He also made 51 appearances for the England national team, scored 11 goals in international football. He also scored 289 career goals as well. So a very, very good career he's had. Now, as we can see, he starts off in the Legends database, which we'll leave a link to in the description down below. Starts off 19 years old, valued at 10.75 million. He will be playing for Millwall, who I believe will be they're in Skybet League One. So I can't imagine him sticking around too long. He's a player that I'm hoping is going to move on a little bit. But as far as his, his striking stats are concerned, his finishing is up there at 15 to 20. He's not fully scouted yet, so it'll be interesting to see how he gets on as the as the save moves on. His heading is 12 to 19. And I think something else that we should look at is, is his strength. I, I thought that he was quite a strong player. He's quite good at holding the ball up. Uh, but he's down as 7 to 12 on the on the database at the moment. Jumping reach 12 to 17. He had a good header on him as well as balance. So I think that he, he could turn out to be a very, very good player. Providing that as this experiment rolls on, he finds the right club. So what we'll do, we'll do this in in five years as usual. And we will check out in five years' time how Teddy Sheringham is getting on and if he is still at Millwall or if he has decided to move on to somewhere else. Okay, guys, we're now five years on, the 31st of May 2020. Let's have a look at Teddy Sheringham and see how he is getting on. Now, as you can see, he's moved. He's moved from Millwall and he is now playing for Aston Villa. And some of the stats that we that we were looking at earlier that would be the ones that stand out 16 finishing and 16 first touch I would, and 17 heading I'd fully agree with all those stats long shots 16 technique 16 he, he was a player that I thought had very very good technique throughout his career his strength is now up at 14 so that is one that is improved dramatically natural finishing uh, sorry natural fitness 17 to 19 as well as 15 to 17 balance uh, he's worth £22.5 million. Let's have a look at his history and see how much he uh, see what happened and how much he went for. So he made 19 appearances for Millwall in Skybet League 1 and scored 17 goals, got 8 assists as well. So a real, real good start to his career for him there. He's moved to Aston Villa for £8.75 million, But as you can see, he's he's not really playing. He's not breaking into the Aston Villa team. Uh, just four appearances, no goals, one appearance in the season after, one appearance in 17-18, uh, two appearances and one goal in 18-19, and four appearances and two goals. So he's kind of wasting away a little bit at the moment. He's, his career hasn't taken off at all. Let's have a little look at, at Aston Villa and see who he is battling uh, for that for that striking role with. Who is, who is he up there? Who is he up there fighting with for those striking roles, guys? Who have they got in? So they've got they've got Peter White, they've got Jerry Hitchens, and they've got Dwight York as well. Andy Gray, uh, Paul Nielsen. It, so so he's got some. He, he's got a lot of competition up there. So he's got Peter White, Dwight York. How is Dwight York getting on? You see, Dwight York's getting the goals. Look, twenty nine appearances and twenty one goals. He can't seem to get into that position at the moment uh, Jerry Hitchens as well is, is on 14 goals on 34 games so I'm not sure what's going to happen with Teddy Sheringham whether he's going to remain an Aston Villa player or if he's going to move on because like I say five years into this experiment and he's only made 31 
career appearances and scored 21 goals, but most of those have been for Millwall in League One. He's got uh, just the four goals in in four years, pretty much. It, four goals in five years, pretty much, for Aston Villa, which is is not the best start to to his career. But we'll wind on another five years, take us to the 31st of May 2025, and see if Teddy Sheringham is still an Aston Villa player. Right, folks, we're back 31st of May 2025. Teddy Sheringham has now been a professional footballer for 10 years. So let's have a look at him and see what's going on. And as you can see, he's decided to move on. He's now a Southampton player. And uh, looking at his stats, the, there's not an awful lot that has changed. Finishing first touch and heading still remain at 16. I think his technique has maybe dropped a little bit. I can't remember. Strength still at 14. Natural fitness, 18. Off the ball, 17. Vision, 16 as well. So he, he doesn't look to be doing too bad. But I'm looking down here and he's still not making that many appearances. He's He's got no England caps, uh, which is to be expected really for the, the minimal amount of professional appearances that he has made. But he's still valued at £22 million and he's got a contract for another couple of years at Southampton. So let's have a look at, at what's happened with him then. So we last finished on the the 2019-20 uh, season. He carried on at Aston Villa for a, a couple of years. Six appearances, one goal. Didn't get an appearance whatsoever in the 21-22 season. He's moved to Southampton uh, for free in the 22-23 season made 13 appearances but didn't get any goals and then he's Southampton have been relegated that season to the championship and he's only made one appearance and scored one goal so he's still not playing has he been injured or something like so he's 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 had a couple of injuries but nothing major nothing more than just over a week so so that's not affecting it he's just not getting in the team um, Southampton have won promotion back to the Premier League at the first attempt and and he's not made any appearances whatsoever in the 24-25 season. Let's have a look at the senior squad players for Southampton and just check who, who he's fighting for positions with. So he's got uh, Mick Shannon up there, who's got 12 goals in 31 games, who, who he's fighting up there with. Um, Adimio Ademi who is an, an Italian, he's getting a few goals, but again, he's not getting that many appearances either. Um, Letizia plays in an attacking midfielder role, so maybe he's, if he's fighting for an attacking midfielder role, he's fighting for that alongside Letizia. Um And Joseph uh, Schmidt as well, up front, who's a, a lot better player than what Teddy Sheringham is. So, as we say again, his career just hasn't taken off yet. I am I'm very, very surprised about what's going on with, with Teddy Sheringham. But as usual, uh, we'll wind on another five years, see what's happening. But he is 29 years old now, and he's only made 51 career appearances. So a bit disappointing for him, really. Uh, let's wind on another five years and see where he ends up. Right, so the end of season 15. It's now the season 2030. Let's have a look at Teddy Sheringham, and he's he's now moved to Scotland. He tends to move every every five years or so, and uh, he he's now in Scotland at Dundee United. Thirty four years old, so I'd imagine that his career is winding down a little bit. Uh, he's finishing. Uh, he's not fully scouted again now. His finishing's gone fifteen to eighteen. Uh, first touch fourteen to seventeen. Heading fifteen. Um, but so his stats are dropping a little bit. He's only worth nine hundred and fifty thousand now. Um, no career appearances for England and at the age of 34 I wouldn't imagine he's going to get one now he's got another contract uh, his, well his contract runs for another year at Dundee United but let's have a look at his history and see what happened so last time we left it was the 24-25 season where he didn't make an appearance he then made 18 appearances in 25-26 for Southampton and scored 3 goals 11 appearances in 26-27 and scored another three goals again. They, Southampton have then been relegated once again to the Skybet Championship and he's played a lot of games so that, that tends to be um, has tended to be his level in this save so he's made 29 appearances scored 10 goals and got 10 assists as well. Uh, in the Skybet Championship again the season after he's played 39 games so he's only missed seven games for the club that season 
and uh, scored 26 goals, so a, a fantastic return for him. 13 assists, 3 player of the matches and a 7.26 average rating. Looks like his contract has then run out and he's decided that a move to Scotland is for him. He's gone to the Labrooks Premiership and he's joined Dundee United for free, played 25 times and scored 9 goals. So in total so far now in his career, his career looks a little bit better. So over 4 clubs he's made 173 appearances and he scored 74 goals which is quite a decent return but I feel that his, his stat, not his stats but his career appearances early on have kind of tarnished the his his reputation a little bit because he, he's definitely not a player that at that stage of his career that should have been making only 173 appearances he, it's obviously the way the save is simulated he's not joined the the clubs that suit him uh, so maybe it'd have been better off spending a bit of time in the in the championship or something like that because it looks like he's been fighting for a place with some very very good players but he's now 34 years old Let's wind on for the final time, probably another five years, which will take him to age 39. I'd imagine that he will have retired by then. Let's see if he spends another few years at Dundee United or if he decides to move somewhere else. There we go, guys. 19 years, actually, into this experiment. The 31st of May, 2034, and uh, Teddy Sheringham has retired from being a professional footballer. And he's he's got a National A licence in coaching, so fair play to him. As far as his um, his career was concerned, the last time we checked, he made the the move to Dundee United for free, played 25 games and scored nine goals. The season after the 30-31 season was to be his final season as a footballer. He made just four appearances for Dundee United and he didn't score any goals whatsoever that season. Uh, don't know if he had a couple of injuries or what that season, but. You know, unfortunate for him, all his appearances look as though they came off the bench in the league as well. So, an unfortunate ending to to his career, really. If we, if we, you know, if we have a look at his career stats as as a player, he he had a decent return. What was it, 174 goals or something like that, in in something like 180 games. Oh, here it, here it is, actually, 174 uh, goals in 177 games. Only commanded 8.75 million in transfer fees, but you know, looking at those stats, if you, if he could have got more and more games under his belt, you know, say you could times that by three or something like that, you'd say that his career had been absolutely phenomenal. But in his time at Aston Villa and his his early time at Southampton, he he just didn't get the game time, which is a little bit unfortunate, and 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 doesn't do the player that I thought he was in, in real life justice. But that's what these experiments are all about. It's looking at seeing what happens with these players and see how they get on. But guys, I still hope that you have enjoyed this experiment on FM Scout. If you have, please do drop a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel already if you haven't done so. Also, make sure that you go and check out my channel, Rich on Twitch underscore TV. I will leave a link to that in the description. That is my YouTube channel. And until then, guys, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of the day, and I will see you in the next episode.